Good morning and welcome to the first day of a brand new week on and I am excited for this one. This is one that you would have thought I would have covered a long time ago. Something when a week on was but a mere baby in the YouTube world. But no, it's been something that I've kind of put off doing, um, not for any specific reason, because it's one of the biggies, one of the most well-known fad diets, if you can call it a fad diet, that there is out there. And that is, of course, I will move over so you can see the logo, although you've already clicked on the title of the video and you know what it is. It is, of course, the Atkins diet, developed by Mr. Dr. Professor Atkins, Whatever he, uh, he he likes to to be known as, that's fine. You know, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. We're all we're all friends here. If he wants to be a professor, that's all fine too. You know, it doesn't matter. So there are several guidelines when it comes to the Atkins diet, and it goes in phases: one, two, three. Uh, and obviously, because this is the uh, the first time I'm doing this, I need to start with phase one. You know, that's how numbers work. And there are several guidelines that I need to adhere to this week. I'll try my best. I'm not going to be able to guarantee that I'm going to be able to do that because. I want to want to try different recipes from different phases and things like that. So, you know, all you Atkins gurus out there in the comments, this is not going to be the be-all and end-all of representations of phase one of Atkins. But I'm going to do what I can to ensure that I sort of give it a fair enough overview. So, for phase one guidelines, I need to make sure I have three or three to five regular meals a day. So that's either breakfast, lunch and dinner, or then breakfast, second breakfast, lunch second lunch and then dinner? I don't know, but we're going to have three meals a day. Uh, don't go longer than six hours in between meals. You know, I don't go more than about five minutes between meals, so that's fine. Um, 115 to 175 grams of protein-rich food. That's, that's good. Yeah, we can do that. Twenty, No more than 20 grams of carbs per day. Uh, 12 to 15 should come from cooked vegetables and salad. Well, we'll I don't know about that. We'll see. We have plenty of veg in, so we'll see what we can do. Um, we can take multivitamins and drink eight glasses of water throughout the day as well. Um, so it's basically just trying to ease us in gently or throw us in at the deep end with carbs uh, and our bloody carb intake and, and things like that. It depends how, how you want to look at it. But that's all good. Atkins also do their own products. So we're going to be trying those throughout the week. Uh, not going to dive in with a shake First of all, that seems like um, the coward's way out, doesn't it? So we are going to use this as ingredients throughout the week, and I'm going to give the shake a go as well, because, you know, a 80% less carbs shake sounds absolutely delicious to me. Oh, well, we'll see. So the, I guess it's only fair, isn't it? Like the first thing I do on this week on is jump on the scales, because, yes, this is going to be a weight loss week on. We're going to see... If you can lose a, weight, uh, a, a week's worth of weight. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We want to see if we can lose weight in a week, is what I'm trying to say. So yes, going to jump on the old scales and see what Atkins has to work with. Quite a lot. It's been a very, very food-rich lockdown. Right, I'm scared. Up on the scales and it says... 1310.2. Right. Let's see what Mr. Dr. Professor Atkins can do. Let's go get some breakfast. Oh my word, Basil. You look so wide. You look like you've melted. Don't you? Here you go, featuring, featuring you very early in this week on because, well, it's what the public demands. So, for the first meal of this week on, going to do something relatively simple despite the amount of ingredients there, or at least this recipe promises that it's going to be easy. It is an almond muffin in a minute. And if it doesn't take a minute, which it doesn't because it says prep time, three minutes, then I'm going to be livid, although I assume it means cook time because that does say a minute. So, um, we are going to, uh, yes, have a, a nice almond muffin, or at least I hope it's going to be nice. So the ingredients we have, sweetener, baking powder, eggs, cinnamon, almond flour, oil and salt. So there we go. Let's get cracking then, making a almond muffin in a minute, which takes four minutes. Quite a simple one, this one. We take our coffee mug. It was very, very clear that it had to be a coffee mug. And then we start adding our ingredients to it. So we firstly need to add uh, 28 grams of the almond flour. So, without getting some on the side, too late. A few more. A few more. <clears throat> there we go, exactly 28. 
and a teaspoon of sweetener Plop. and then a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder how much is a quarter of a teaspoon oh, I'm not going to get this out right let's dig into it instead quarter of a teaspoon would you say don't need to put too much in do we it's only a tiny little thing uh, a dash of salt uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, not a huge fan of cinnamon, so I'm not going to put quite a half in. Uh, one large egg. Actually, do I put the egg in yet? I need to make sure. <laughs> oh no, all the dry ingredients going first. Uh, is that everything? Is that all the dry stuff? Yes, it is. So that's fine. So that's good. Let's just give it. Let's just give it a stir. Just to make sure. Right, and then the egg. Plop goes that. Then a little bit of oil as well, which is a teaspoon's worth. Where's my other spoon gone? I had loads. They're over there. Ugh. And a teaspoon of oil. And then we stir thoroughly. Thoroughly, thoroughly give that a stir. Mmm, I'm worried. <laughs> Obviously, these microwavable egg muffins are a thing. However, Atkins versions are new, at least for me. They might have been around a while. Oh, right, that's thoroughly stirred. Time to get it in the microwave. Right, in there for one minute. That was weird. Did you see that sink back in there? That was that was freaky. <laughs> Did I catch that as a, the big muffin that it was with a huge muffin top up here? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to see in the edit, but it's in there. So uh, yeah, time to um, time to chow down. It's definitely a cake. Is it going to come out easily? Ooh, not too bad. The, so there is our one minute almond muffin. So according to the old the old recipe here, use a knife if necessary to remove, didn't need that, uh, and then slice some butter. Oh and eat, it does specify to eat it. Right, so I guess we uh, we need to halve it and butter it. Have our butter ready. Right let's, is this, the, this is probably the wrong knife but it's working so who cares. Well that, that looks good. Let's, uh, let's rearrange the old angle here. That looks good. I'm quite happy with that. Bit of, bit of butter, a bit of spreadable. Oh, I'm under pressure now to... Yeah, okay, I can already hear the comments. That's a lot of butter. Let's share it. That... Just... Okay. Right, I want to try this, so let's stop mucking about. Yum. Cheers. Bit eggy. Yeah, it's really eggy. And squ squelchy. I mean, I know a muffin, you know, it's good to have a, a moist muffin, but an eggy, squelchy muffin. That's awful. That's awful. Gross. Mm -mm. Nah. Oh, that's too loud. That was deeply, deeply unpleasant. Eggy, squidgy, sickly. Didn't enjoy at all. Not for me, that. Um, so it's been um, like 90 minutes. I only ate half of it. I'm still hungry. I've got no Atkins inspired snacks just yet, but I am going to be getting some official ones later this week. So hold on to your butts for those. So right now, as you can see, I'm going to be doing some uni work. Um, I have an essay, a dreaded essay, due in soon. 
Um, I absolutely hate writing essays. <laughs> I can't stand it. I'm a writer, but I hate writing essays. But, you know, needs must and all that. So I'm going to crack on with this uh, whilst dreaming of lunch because cause I'm very, very hungry already. Mm. You know when I'm filming, don't you? What's this? What's this, look? What's this? One of your whiskers has dropped out. Are you going to be okay? He doesn't care. For lunch, I'm trying something I don't think I've done on this channel before, and I'm quite excited for it. We're going to have buffalo hot wing cauliflower. Interesting, the oven is uh, doing its thing, warming up. Now, annoyingly, um, I thought we had sriracha, which is one of the ingredients, but we don't, so we're going to have to just make do with buffalo uh, chilli sauce, butter, and uh, cider vinegar to make uh, the, the buffalo wing sauce. But that's all right, it was only a tiny, tiny amount of sriracha that we needed anyway, so fingers crossed it doesn't really affect it too much. And what's this as well? Stinky Roquefort cheese with a strong tangy flavour. So uh, yeah, as you know, if you've watched this channel before, I am not a, uh, a fan of strong, stinky cheese. But we'll see, we won't put too much on there just to uh, to see if it's any good or not, and then we can add the rest if uh, if we like it. So, yeah, the first step is to roast the cauliflower. Roasted cauliflower is lovely, so I'm looking forward to that part. All right, let's crack on. All right, cauliflower in a tray in the oven, about 40 minutes. There we go, I can see it now. Cauliflower looking and smelling lovely. A pan on here to do the sauce now. So the, the recipe actually asks for not that much, but I think I've done a little bit more cauliflower than it intends. So I'm going to just be a little bit more generous with my sauce because I want it to go a little bit further than uh, just a tiny, basically a tablespoon it's asking for. So uh, there. And finally, get off. Right, that wasn't graceful. So I'll just let this cook a little bit, warm through, so then we can toss our cauliflower in it. Yeah. Toss. Right, we should now steam up. Lovely jubbly. In goes broccoli. That's not bro broccoli, that's cauliflower. In goes the cauliflower. And we'll give this a bit of a stir. One-handed, lovely. And... Here we go. Here is my buffalo wing cauliflower. Not broccoli. Yes, let's give it a try. Well, as you can see on there, I have, well, I'm gonna say sprinkled some of the Roquefort. It wasn't the sprinkliest. Didn't sprinkle whatsoever. So yeah, this smells very buffalo -y. <laughs> Don't get your nose too close to it. Let's give it a try. I'm very excited. It smells good. Here's a bit that's asking to be tried. Mmm. Mmm. That is lovely. It's quite spicy, <laughs> as you might expect. But the real, the roast in the cauliflower real, really brings out a nicer flavour in it. And that, that um, dressing, if you want to, I don't know what you're going to call it, sauce, is um, is really, really nice. I'm not sure. It, maybe it, was, it would be nicer with the sriracha, but... Without it, ooh, it's still lovely. I'm not sure about this uh, stinky rock fork, so let's try it. Yeah, that's not very good. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put too much on there. Don't like stinky cheese, but I do like this. Lovely. You know what, my lunch was absolutely lovely. I really, really enjoyed it, and I would, um, easily have that again were I not doing Atkins uh, and basically not change anything. I don't know if the sriracha would would add it. It would probably add a lot more spice, which Grace would hate, but um, I, I would probably enjoy it. But we'll see. I'm definitely going to do that again, not on this week on, but at some point. Now, I'm going to do some streaming. I've started streaming on Twitch, so if you want to check that out, all the links are in the description. I play lots of games, including lots of retro games and current day games. Probably going to have a go at Mario Kart now, play some online, because I, uh, I don't think I'm too bad at Mario Kart, but then when you play online you realise that you're actually trash. But uh, I'm going to go and uh, kill my self-confidence with some online Mario Kart. Check the links below.
doing a little bit of streaming now. Moved on from Mario Kart to a bit of Super Mario Brothers. I've just died. Everybody in the chat saw me die. Um, so yeah, it's it's good, it's good fun time. So come on down to my to my Twitch channel. Links are all in the description. Uh, but I'm getting a little bit hungry now because my cauliflower didn't fill me up all that well. Um, should have probably done about three times as much, to be honest. But it's dinner time. Get, in, get into... What time is it? It's four o'clock. It's not quite dinner time. Soon... I've said dinner time too many times. It doesn't make sense anymore. Come and join me on Twitch. Well, that was a successful stream. And to celebrate, it's time to cook some dinner. With chicken breast with tarragon cream sauce. So, yes, there is cream. Um, the, that's the closest that we can get in the UK to heavy cream, I guess. Because... Yeah, apparently heavy cream is the thing. Uh, we've got chicken, we've got tarragon, we've got butter, we've got oil, and some veggies to go on the side. Because you've got to get them veggies when you're doing Atkins. So yes, pretty simple one, but it sounds nice. Cream, tarragon, chicken, yum. Let's get cracking. Right, the chicken is all prepared, and it's in two pans because uh, whilst I'm doing Atkins this week, Grace is, and, and you're going to make a Grace-friendly version. So whereas I'm having the old cream... I'm having Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. I'm sure it'll still taste lovely, but not quite as lovely, and um, you'll definitely not feel as guilty as I will. Although, it's all science, because Atkins is, you know, because of the carbs, you have to you put the fat in there, and it's all, you know, sciency and... Shit. Right, a bit of butter has gone in there, smelling lovely. So, next stage. Cream. A little mustard. And lots of tarragon. Now I just need to wait for the cream to thicken up. Oh, smells good. Meanwhile, the veg is uh, it's pretty much done. Time to serve it up. And we're done. Guess the bad version, guess the healthy version. Actually, saying the healthy version is probably the wrong yeah, way of saying it, really isn't it? Yeah, it's not the right way of saying it, but... How about the one with yoghurt and the one with heavy cream? Yeah. And this is reduced down to nothing. It looks and smells really, really good. So, shall we dive in and try it? Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mmm. Mm. Shall we try it together? Let's, and compare. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yours is delicious. This is definitely mm -hmm. the better one. But that is still nice. It's nice though, isn't it? There's a more sourness to it. Yeah, that would the, the yogurt. yogurt. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, I'm definitely going to enjoy this because not eating much today. I'm going to have to learn from my mistakes for tomorrow. But I'm going to tuck in to this. Enjoy. Oh. I'm going to enjoy this. Dinner was absolutely delicious. Lovely and creamy and tarragony. And yours was fine. It was nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am smiling. You might not be able to tell because of the mask, but we are now off to the cinema. Um, they're not actually uh, releasing new films, it would seem, at the moment, but they are releasing a ton of old stuff. So we're off to see The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. And I am excited. It's been, uh, yeah, it is a brilliant film. It's been 19 years since it was last in the cinema, so very excited to see it again on the big screen. It's now compulsory when you're indoors to wear face masks, so it's a good job. We've got some nice, sparkly, shiny star ones, isn't it? It keeps falling down there, that's annoying. Right, looks like I'm about to go rob a bank. Let's go see a film. Strange time for a movie. Yeah, it's very odd. Do we have to wear these the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> How was that? I really liked it. It was the extended Fellowship of the Ring as well, which was, yeah. we have both seen, but never in the cinema. Like, did they ever put those in the cinema? I don't know. No, I don't think they did actually. And I've only seen it probably once. Yeah. So it was quite good. It was. Very, very good cinematic experience. Would recommend. Also, we didn't wear the masks all the way through the film, so. Oh, right. Well, there we go. That was the first day of a week on Atkins. And to be honest, I think it went quite well. Well, apart from breakfast, which was a um, an almond muffin thing, which was um, didn't like that at all. Eggy, soft, weird eggy. Eggy bread, but not a good kind of eggy bread. Gross. Didn't like that. 
would not recommend. Lunch, however, was a completely different ball game. That was uh, my buffalo cauliflower, absolutely delicious, would destroy again. As, as I would my evening meal, the tarragon chicken with cream sauce, absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, it had a bit of cauliflower in there again, that's good, and broccoli as well. Yum, yum, yum. I am very hungry now though. Don't have any Atkins inspired snacks and I'm not just going to munch on another head of broccoli or something like that. That would be weird but I wouldn't put it past me. We'll see how hungry I get throughout the, the course of this week. So, yes, that was day one. Pretty good start, I would say. Although, yeah, a bit hungry, but maybe I should have more, like, you know, the four or five meals. Hmm, <laughs> now there's an idea. No, 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 no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it properly. We're going to have to do it properly this week. Um, so, yes, I've, as I've said, I'm going to do all of my recipes off of the Atkins website. So if you check out the Atkins website, you'll see all the food. All the lovely, lovely food. It's a pretty good day. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where the week's going to go. So if you want to find out where it's going to go, please do subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please share it. Or if you want to see the entire week on right now, if you support the show on Patreon, you can do. Or if you want to support me in other ways, check out my uh, my new Twitch page. All the links are in the description and you can watch me streaming some video games and we can talk and we can play games and we can do things and have a few laughs. But there we go. Good start. I don't want to get too excited, but I think it's going to be a good week. See you on day two.